Alright guys, today we're going to use a very simple technique to catch largemouth. We're going to use some night crawlers. But before we do that, we're going to throw our little uh, underspin here and see if we can't get a fish real quick. That didn't get us a fish. We actually snagged it. But, so we're gonna take this, uh, one of these night crawlers. just once through the egg sack like that almost like a wacky rig but with a real live worm There should be some largemouth over here. That's what I'm thinking. We're just gonna cast it out there. Let it fall all the way to the bottom. And then just lift it up, shake it a little, let it fall back down, just like a Cinco, but with a live night crawler. Oh, we we got one. Oh, it's a crappie on a night crawler. A nice copy. Man, a real nice copy. Only once in my life have I caught a copy on a night crawler. He just, I should have known it wasn't a bass. He just barely tapped it. But then he started going with it. That's like two minutes into fishing. Man, that's actually a really big crappie. I should take him home. I don't have a stringer though. Sweet. Whoa, we almost fell in. I don't know what all this slop is. See you later guys. He's mad. I need to start carrying a stringer with me. Because I won't keep him in, out of here in the winter time. Because that there's like when there's no water coming in, it's just a little hole right here. And I don't like to take him out because there's no more fish coming in. And I don't like to deplete what's in here. But when the water's running, there's constantly fish coming in and out. Plus, when it, when there's no water running, they get stale, and I don't think they taste good out of here. But right now, that it's fr he would have been fresh. He would have tasted good. This little crappie sandwich. 
He would have been easy to fillet because of his size. That's how we got him. He just sucked that whole thing down. When you just hook them once, I know I used to Texas rig them, but I'm trying this new thing where you just hook them once because they seem to, uh, it keeps the worm alive and they have a lot more action. I don't know, we may put it on the ultralight with six pound test because it'd be a lot funner. Uh, this is a medium with the uh, eight pound test. That's unfortunate that we got snagged with just a hook on there and no weight. I don't know. Oh, there we got it. Man, today we we're just getting snagged like crazy. I was up at the lake and I had to leave because every single cast I'd get snagged. We broke off, so we're going to take this opportunity to put a worm on the ultralight. That's a bite, and we got him. It's a decent sized largemouth. Right in the lip. He's got a little sore, kind of like a tumor going on or something.
we pitched over under those bushes and he hit it. See you later, guy. So we actually got the targeted species, which is largemouth. Crappie was a nice surprise, though. Not gonna lie. All right, shoot, that was our last night crawler. I don't know how we went through 18 of them so fast. Probably just snagging, I guess, getting hung up. But all in all, not a bad day. I still can't believe we got that, that big crappie on a night crawler. That was pretty cool. Only one other time have I caught a crappie on a night crawler. And that was at Bill Evans at night. Uh, last year when me and my dad went and camped out time to pack up it's getting kind of hot out here it's not it wasn't the worst day had some cloud cover for a while